Hello, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about our Bolton Fiat 500 kit. This is about to go out to a customer, so before we put it in the box, we thought we'd run through uh, the kit with you and go into a bit of detail about each component. This is basically everything you need to convert your Fiat 500 to electric. This has been developed over about three years, so um, it doesn't look like much, but a lot of work has gone to this, a lot of work and a lot of time. So let's start with the rear. So basically, this is what we call the rear boot plate. Um, and here we've got a 44 kilowatt hour in gyro um, AC permanent magnet motor. That actually bolts directly onto the, uh, onto the gearbox. Um, we're using top gear, so there's no need for a clutch. Um, so yeah, no clutch, no gears, and this thing's got enough torque to pull away, and it's phenomenal, really efficient motor. We've tried many different motors in this build, and we've ended up with the Enjiro, it's fantastic. Uh, we've got the Sevcon inverter here, um, cooling, so this is our uh, header tank for the, for the liquid cooling for the motor. Uh, we've got a 3.3 kilowatt charger here, um, so that's going to probably charge the car up from empty in about six hours. But if you want a bigger charger, six, we can do a 6.6. .6. So this high voltage junction box is where all the high voltage comes in and out. So inside this box, you've got contactors, fuses, um, relays, and all of that wiring inside there is completely finished and done. You don't need to take the, take the lid off this at all. Um, so it's basically plug and play. You've got your Dutch connector there, HV connectors there, and there's more HV connectors underneath, which go to the inverter and battery box. Um, speaking of battery box, this is the rear battery box. So this actually bolts in uh, to the existing um, mounts on top of the car. So this, we can get one of these in and out of the car in, in five minutes, so super, super easy to fit. Um, so that's pretty much it for the rear end of the car. Um, so let's move along to BMS. So this is our BMS. Ta -da. This is uh, developed by us um, over quite a few years. It works exactly the same way as the Tesla BMS. Um, so it talks to the slave boards on the Tesla module and uh, monitors cell voltage, temperature, and it also charges your, um, controls your charger as well. Um, so that's that. And it comes with a loom here. Seems a bit of a mess, but it's actually quite neat. This actually drops into the front of the car. So it's got all your crimps on and all you need to really do with this is wire in your 12 volt and your CAN bus, more or less. So that's that. And it also comes with a current sensor. This monitors current in and out, which helps with the status charge calibration. So that's that. HV cable. So HV cable, this isn't actually all the kit cable. There's, there's gonna be more supplied with this kit um, and every length is pre-cut to the right length. You will need to crimp the HV cables just going to the front battery box because you can't pass the HV connectors through. Um, so we'll supply the kit with a crimping tool as well, which is great. Forward and reverse switch. So super simple, forward, neutral, reverse. That bolts into the center console of the car and basically looks exactly the same as the rear gear lever, which we, which we quite like. That's throttle, super simple. There's really not much to explain there. Um, cooling. So this is our radiator which mounts underneath the car. Um, and it comes with all of your coolant. It will come with all the clips, all of the pipe and the pump and a instruction on how to bolt that up. That bolts into existing mounts. Um, heater. So this is our heater. It's about 1.2 kilowatt heater. Runs off the high voltage battery pack. Um, this actually bolts up under the dash and has two short hoses which feed the original vents so you don't have to wait for the engine to warm up and you don't get carbon monoxide poisoning from the heater like you used to in the old engine so you just flick the switch this will come with a switch as well um, a nice billet aluminum switch that goes on the dash you flick that on and you've got instant warm heat and instant dms which is great so we're re really proud of those our screen so this this little bad boy here um this displays your state of charge, obviously. It displays miles per kilowatt hour now, which is a pretty cool function, and it's voltage. And also it displays your indicators and high and low beam. So that's great. We love those. 
So another battery. So this battery box is pretty much the same as the rear. So total front and rear, we've got 21 kilowatt hours, which is a roughly 120 mile range. Um, if you wanted a boot, lots of people say they want a boot, we can use one module in the front, which gives you a bit of boot space, but you will sacrifice range. So talking about 70-ish mile range with one module in the front, and two in the rear. Most people opt for two, um, but choice is yours. 12 watt battery, uh, we've decided to, we sell a 12 watt battery kit if you like to keep things simple. Um, and underneath that, we bolt the DC to DC converter, which takes a high voltage here and charges the low voltage battery. So it's basically like an alternator equivalent for electric vehicle, uh, keeps that charged. Speaking of charging, charge port. So this is your charger. This will work with any type two charging station, whether at home or at Tesco's or wherever. And this mounts basically um, behind the badge. So we've, we've got a bracket, actually it's here, uh, which bolts on behind the badge where the original horn went. So you lift up the badge and you plug it in and off you go. Actually, I can probably show you now. Over here, lift that up, plug it in, off you go. So that's pretty much it um, for our kit. If you have any questions, please head to our website, find our email and send us an email or put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.